Yet another clean up after yet another night of fear and violence. This time the worst of it was in Belfast. Yet more fires and missiles on the seventh day of rioting. And tonight the Prime Minister said participants anywhere in the UK should expect swift and severe punishment. Over 400 people now have been arrested, 100 have been charged, some in relation to online activity, and a number of them are already in court. And I'm now expecting substantive sentencing before the end of this week. That should send a very powerful message to anybody involved, either directly or online, that you are likely to be dealt with within a week and that nobody, but nobody, should be involving themselves in this disorder. Some of those arrested at Sunday's riot in Rotherham were appearing in Sheffield Magistrates Court today, including 20-year-old Liam Gray, who denied the charge against him. As the deputy district judge worked through the list of all of those accused of violent disorder at Sunday's riot, all of the adults were remanded in prison, even though they'd pleaded not guilty. Only the two teenagers, aged 16 and 17, were given bail. One man, Joshua Simpson, admitted assaulting a police officer. He was also remanded in prison ahead of his sentencing. The disorder in Middlesbrough on Sunday led to 28 people appearing in court at Teesside Magistrates today. The Justice Secretary said she'd brought forward plans to create 500 more prison places to handle the surge of cases going through the courts. The violence in Bolton led to more charges being swiftly brought as a deterrent. Dominic Stambridge being charged with violent disorder, which he denied. James Nelson was jailed for two months for criminal damage. There was also the first charge of stirring up racial hatred linked to the week of disorder. 28-year-old Jordan Parler pleaded guilty at Leeds Magistrates to using Facebook to encourage others to attack a migrant hotel. The director of public prosecution said his staff were even considering terrorism charges in some cases. Where you have organised groups planning activity for the purposes of advancing their ideology, meeting a political objective, um, then, and, and then planning really, really serious disruption, then yes, we will consider terrorism offences. It's a week now since the first riot outside a mosque in Southport last Tuesday. Tomorrow, some 40 protests are planned. Police have described the prospect as concerning, but they are hoping that the threat of immediate, long prison sentences will deter at least some people from engaging in violence.